there is one last thing that we need to take care so we have the block size until now we were passing the block size one here so let's calculate the block size and pass the actual value of the block size so block size is comprised of your block header size plus the transactions so block header has version previous block hash merkle root timestamp bits and nonce value so version is of 4 bytes previous block hash is 32 bytes merkle root 32 bytes timestamp 4 bytes bits 4 bytes and nonce 4 bytes so by adding all these values so block header is of total 80 bytes so let's declare the block size variable so declare it here self dot block size and set it to 80 and in the next step we will add the transaction size so let's do that self dot block size plus equals to pick up this transaction do length serialize the transaction block size is in bytes so we are serializing the whole transaction so it will give us the total size in bytes and then we are adding the each transaction size in the block size it will run in loop so whatever transactions are coming in memory pool it will calculate the size of each transaction add it in the block size now copy this and if you remember in this step we have not included the coinbase transaction so we need to add the coinbase transaction right here so once we have created the coinbase transaction do self dot block size plus equals to length and serialize the coinbase transaction all right so we are done with this now copy this and replace this one with the actual block size and let's remove all the breakpoints and quickly run if everything is working fine so set the breakpoint here so right now block size 80 because we know the block header is of fixed 80 size and now it should add the coinbase transaction size in this block size and yeah we have 167 which means 87 bytes is the coinbase transaction size so let's write it in the file and perfect it is working fine so let's quickly publish one transaction and we will see it is picking up the block size from memory pool as well let's transfer from this account to this account and transfer 20 bitcoins and okay transaction is added in the memory pool so let's let's go ahead and read the transaction from memory pool so it will set the block size to 80 and now we have the total block size of 305 so it is working fine and now it should add the coinbase transaction size in the block size so current block size is 305 and let's see the new block size after coinbase transaction 392 perfect so everything is working fine